It's just the most ridiculous thing I've seen. I've seen Listen, like no. The second someone's going to comment and go, right, she bought that much food for three days. I've been building, guys, and building and building for months, like I said, so we don't have to run back to the port to get groceries. We can live on Anchor for years. You think so? I'm a little embarrassed. Uh, you should be. <laughs> Have you ever been building up for something for so long, but it seems like obstacles keep getting in your way? I'm sorry for all of us. That royally stinks. COVID. You're gonna have to bleep that out. For our family, when we thought of the future, it always included a boat and exploring the world by sea. Welcome to your new home. Someday. Someday. Dreams start here and they start early. Every other stop in between was a test to see if we could make it to that point. We have to be in the car for two days driving. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad it's raining now because there's not much to do or see. I hate for it to be nice and then we get there and it's... Now that we have been living on our floating home for eight months, it seems that the list of things to do is actually getting smaller and smaller. All right, did it work? All right, here we go. Yay! There you go. It's in. We, it's, have, we have light. It's... We gotta make sure it stays in. The clouds are parting and our dream of traveling by sea is finally going to begin. But then there's this kind of whole other layer of all the medical stuff you're gonna need if you're gonna be out at sea for a while and this thing called the ditch kit. Join us as a reunited group finally sets sail or motor with a direction but no real plan. So this is almost insanity because we're doing the exact opposite of what we did two and a half months ago. The way sailing should be. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. This is what it looks like after Jessica comes back from a COVID vaccine and a little bit of a hungry stomach. Honestly, you, you really have to stop buying with whatever you think, think you're hungry for. I, I've been gathering an extra this, an extra that, every time we go to the grocery store for months because it's been so complicated going with the bikes and whatnot. And I had this vision of in the summer, wherever we ended up, that we would only go back to land if we were going on some amazing hike or to hang out at the beach and to get fruits and veggies. Everything else I wanted to have stocked so we didn't have to carry it on our backs or didn't have to do weekly groceries and get all like, oh, groceries. Okay, I've realized I have a problem, guys. Apparently, I have a real bad memory. We're not a family that eats that much ketchup, but apparently I felt we needed Six ketchups. <laughs> I think you're the only one in the family that really does eat ketchup like, 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 as a staple. Six ketchups and five jars of cornichons. Five of them, guys. Well, five. Avalon and Laura will eat like one each. I mean, they could eat one a day, honestly. I don't know. I mean, clearly I have absolutely no experience with provisioning. And this is this is a combination, honestly, of eight months of going to the grocery store on the bikes. What I don't understand is why we have so much food when we're only going like for a three-day journey. <laughs> and this has been the, the trash that has been accumulating here since we've been extinguishing all of our groceries. And then you take a picture of it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I want to save this moment, you know, so I don't do it again. I'm going to shame myself into not buying this much again. I mean, we would never go through six ketchups in an entire year. I, mean, I, I will never go through six ketchups in my lifetime. Next time we're invited to someone's house, instead of bringing flowers or chocolate, we're going to bring a ketchup. Good morning from the helm of friendship. It is a pretty nice day. It rained all night last night, but I can see that it's clearing a bit. The sun's coming up. I think, well, what do we got about? Maybe a three or four hour sail before we're gonna pull in and anchor because there's some wind coming that might be a little much for us right now. Do I have all that correct, Will? If the weather holds up well, we can go further. But at this point, I don't see us going that far today. Yeah, I don't see us going too far either. And yesterday I had, you want to see this tooth? I'm not going to show you, it's gross. But I had a tooth back here pulled and I'm a little, I'm in a little bit of pain still. But we're going to go as far as we can go. And when we feel we can't go anymore, we're going to anchor and um, relish in the fact that we're all back together again. The band's back together and we are sailing. The insane part is that it's 7 a.m. So we may be done by 10 a.m. today. And we're not actually sailing right yet because we don't have any wind. So we're motor sailing out of here to get around the edge and then hopefully we'll have some wind and we'll be able to put the sails up and really go for it. But I will keep on and I gotta keep my emotions running wild. 
So this is almost insanity because we are doing the exact opposite of what we thought we were going to be doing. In fact, our track is the exact opposite of what we did two and a half months ago. We did have a plan. We actually did have a plan. Two and a half months ago, the world was very different. And we, well, that wasn't, it really wasn't that different, but we thought we would be sailing Greece for the summer. So we were making our way towards Greece. And once we landed in year, we quickly realized that we were stuck there for a little bit because of COVID and other things and that going to Greece for the summer wasn't gonna work. So now we're turning around. The good part is that we never deleted our course path. So we're just following it backwards. It's nice to not have to do something twice. So where we're heading to today is this. We are heading towards, we have, we have two possible options. Um, we started off way over here. We were basically journeying either one or two spots, either La Ciotat, which is a nice enclosed place that has you know access to a bakery in the morning if we want to. Um, it's not, we're, we'll anchor. We're not gonna sort of get, land in, in a marina. Or we may go all the way down over here to La Ile Rio, which is right outside of Marseille. And it's supposed to be a beautiful calant, which is like a, it's almost like a fjord um, where you can go in there and stop for the night. It's a lot of boats that hang out there. It's a lot of people from Marseille that come in for the day, they party during the day, then they leave leave the, the sailors at night. Um, so that's that's kind of our plan hey, for today. Hey, you see a trip to Corsica? Corsica. There's a, you really I do want to go to Corsica. Corsica. There's do a ferry right there we can tie up to them. Uh, you, you see, I was actually excited about saying, we're changing direction to go to Corsica. <laughs> The issue right now is that we don't really have any any wind. We got about five knots of wind and it's really just right at our nose. So I think it's gonna be the entire day. So this will be a 1000% motor sail for the day. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, the, the, the path to Spain will involve a lot of sailing. Uh, it's just maybe not in the next couple days because uh, it's just not, not in the cards. Save the bees. Save the bees. How long has that been there? Um, 385 days. He's, not been there for 385 days. <laughs> he's been there for at least an hour. He's well, make, the boats. Not right there. He was over here first and he was over there. He's probably eating all the dirtiness of this boat. Is he alive? We should get some flowers out here. <laughs> well, I'm hoping I'm, I'm part of that Facebook group cooking on a boat I'm, and, and I'm gardening on a boat or something like that. So I'm hoping once we get kind of our wits about the, the, the stuff that can save our life or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm on some medication for my tooth and I'm a little loopy today. So let's- <laughs> You're driving. Let's, let, <laughs> let's start that again, okay? <laughs> and all along Avalon is doing her French lessons. She's, she can even do this right. while we're underway, which is fantastic. Check, like check, this. look at this. So now we're asking, que font les chiens? What do you think that means? Good guess. Hello, Good Largo. Did you sleep the entire time while we were going? No, I was just laying in bed. I was tired. It's been now, we've been out for what, two hours around there? In your little seasick? Yeah, I Why don't you? Life jacket. Put your life jacket Where is it? sit out here. Look at the horizon, okay? Oh, it pays to be a nice, relaxing day. <laughs> it's Saturday. It says the man who's not seasick. <laughs> Get that right. And then look out there. Do you want a blanket for around your legs? No, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. You sure? All right. Oh, jeez. You you're leading us into a rock. You know that. It's quite far away. We didn't film it because we didn't think that that would be appropriate. <laughs> but Alma was teaching inside and it's it's pretty, we're moving a bit and she came out and threw up all over the ground here. So um, she paused with her client, threw up and said, I feel better. And then went back to teaching and she's teaching out here now. What? Um, oh, close, close, good one. It's Margo, a tough life. I, I, are you ready to school? No, it's Saturday. Margo, what podcast are you listening to? A podcast. Which one? A podcast of a podcast. A podcast of a podcast? A podcast of a podcast. A podcast of a podcast. It's how to not throw up when you're sailing, learning to sail, right? Uh, I'm cold. I want to go inside. But if I go inside, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> 
Well, luckily we have these amazing blankets that can keep you warm. It does look a lot like gentle though, doesn't it? That's your, that's your next goal. Be able to work and, and, and be able oh to go on away at the same time. <laughs> You're doing okay. I, I, I do. That is a goal of mine. My first goal is to not be seasick. And then my second goal is to work and sail at the same time. I've got something to show you guys. I am wearing my relief band under here. And it's set to... I have it set to four. Because I want maximum potential out of this. Um, so far, it's. I think it's working. I mean, I. I listen. I've been sitting at the helm. I've been looking at the horizon. I did go down to go to the bathroom, and I felt a little queasy. I jacked this baby up to four, um, and I'm feeling okay right now. But I'm obviously not going down inside to make lunch or read or anything like that. So, more on this later. Au revoir. Bye. Well, you are officially the first person <laughs> to throw up on this boat, Avalon. We got a new towel there. Oh God, I feel it's like kind of clean. Oh, it's so weird. So what happened? You just got seasick under there? It was you? so weird because I was fine for the first 45 minutes, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fine. I felt great, and then I got like the sweats and the chills, and it was like, dear God, I'm gonna throw up right now. How do I get out of class? Because I didn't want to throw up in front of them. I said, I'm feeling kind of sick. I'll be back in five minutes. And then you came. She came out this door right here <laughs> and like, threw up all over the ground. <laughs> But there was nothing, you haven't had breakfast. No, I'm in so there. happy I did not have breakfast. So, so how are you feeling now? I feel fine. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I feel sick still, but I felt fine immediately after. You love the boat, don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> well, it makes you think, what, how? Listen, what, we have what? a whole smorgasbord of food here oh, for I'm you. Oh, I'm so excited to eat after I threw up, Dad. It's going to be awesome. Oh God, I'm so happy. What I would you know? like? Nothing. So now you know the warning signs before you grow up, though. Yeah. From seasickness. But you feel better from it. Now that you're out of class and your mind's not is distracted, I'm honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself for just keep going through the class. I can't believe you did that. You're I can't believe I jumped like right back into it. Do you want to stand up here and look out the horizon for a bit? Because I got really sick sitting back too there. Oh, your penis is so much better than down there. Margo's cold and wants to take a nap. Can you come snuggle with you? Honestly, I was fine in my bed. You were? The entire morning I was fine. So we're gonna try something with you guys. Our family loves to sing and dance and do all this crazy stuff. But we cannot put the song we're singing or dancing to on YouTube. So we're gonna sing and dance to the song, but then we're gonna totally mute it for you guys. And you guys have to guess what song we're singing or dancing to. Does that really sound fun? That's gonna work. What do you mean? Do you think you can read, read our lips? I think they can read our lips. And the problem is we might not know all the words to the song, so. <laughs> that's gonna help. <laughs> going to be in this one we try to do a little miming too like this means what does it mean to you guys are so smart if I went like that it means sky um, all right let's have fun with it guys we're going a little crazy here I guess on this and we're kind of hungry too we're hungry too <laughs> before we knew it we had passed our first planned destination then our second planned destination and then we ventured on even further we all seemed to be getting over our seasickness and were good with going further. So a three hour sail turned into a 10 hour journey to our anchorage. Whenever you're lonely, just pick up the phone and call me. I'll be there. So, so we are at this point, a half mile from our destination, Port Mijin. It's actually it's called Port Mahine. Uh, it just it just spells Mijin. I, I kind of like that name better. Anyway, um, it's getting a little rough, and um, I mean it's not intolerable, but it, it's doing all right. But for a first day of ten hours 
on the boat, I come to one conclusion. We don't want to do 10 hours again under motor, upwind. It's not that fun, but that's okay. Um, we, we, we've all sort of, we're going to take a well-deserved break tonight. But look at this. And if you get blue, I got the love in Woo! Wow. I never thought we'd be out this long today. But now we're by people who are kayaking and paddleboarding. It's cold outside. People are swimming I don't know. in this freezing water. People are swimming in this freezing water. Want to go for a swim, time? Avalon? Okay, so Largo and I are starting day, day two off. We had a nice night. It rocked a lot here. It wasn't very protected. But um, it's time to take off. And Avalon and Largo are now running the show. Largo, are you ready? Yes. Is Avalon ready? So, do you feel like you're back in the swing of things with the sailing, Avalon? Yeah. Second time doing the anchor in six weeks? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I am ready, but the windlass isn't on right now. Yeah, it is. Okay. Go ahead. Wow, it's very uneventful. Yeah, true. <laughs> we thought this would be action packed water. Yeah, we're driving through rocks, all that stuff. And here it is. You ready to go, Largo? Yep. Send us out of here. Into <laughs> what's not looking so good today. When I reach out. morning from day number two so it is I think it's around what is it around 11 o'clock this morning we set the alarm for 5 30 we had a plan to get up by 6 and out sailing and then we had a change of plans we really started to think about things and if you guys remember Avalon still actually has one more exam in Spain that we're trying to get to in the next two weeks and what we realized is the med being the med it's pretty volatile it's windy it's swelly that it's really difficult for her to study under these conditions so we went online and we're actually able to change the test center from Spain to France, which is amazing because you could not do that with our previous exam. So our plan now is to go back to Port Camargue where we stayed for, I don't know, seven months, dock there for 10 days while she studies. And then when the exam comes, she'll just take the train, go to the exam, come back, and then we'll continue on sailing to Spain and the Balearics. And you guys won't notice it because the next video, we're a couple videos behind. So by the time you watch this one, the next one will be us sailing again. And that's kind of how it goes with this travel life that we've been at forever is we have to be flexible and willing to kind of change gears for goals that the kids have or that someone in the family has. And I think it's actually a good thing. And it's almost like a coming home, right? Going back to Port Camargue, you know? Oh. Anyway, all right. We are ranging between 18 and up to 26 knots with gusts we have one reef in the main we're at about 5.3 to 5.5 knots and we only have the main up because we're sailing head to wind so we're motor sailing and i think that's about it it's about i'd say about a nine or ten hour day sail and we're about an hour and a half into it now here am i meant to find little Oh. <laughs> oh 
found the magic moment that makes, makes it worth it for the kids. <laughs> the long sail days, just put them on the helm, clip them in and let them jump for hours. Imagine if you had a trampoline, how much fun they have. Imagine if we had another hundred thousand dollars for a boat. How much fun we'd have. <laughs> Imagine if we saw a family of dolphins right now. Which is actually the probably the thing that is most likely to happen because we've seen a lot of dolphins in limited. How was that? Amazing. Honestly, this is the best thing to do on a catamaran. I think we found the brand new sport of the boat. Yeah. The sport where I am currently soaked. It's jump roping without a rope. It's jump boat boating. <laughs> boat jumping. Avalon, you see what you missed all along when you were in Spain? <laughs> How's the salt water tasting? There's sand all, there's salt all over that like handrail over there. Look, we're all wet. Currently, my shoes are wet. My, my, um, my pants are wet and my jacket is wet. Well, luckily we have a dryer. Grab no, a we clip don't. and clip it on the side of the boat. It'll be dry by the time we dock. <laughs> Avalon, give mommy a hug. Oh, I will. What? I muffin. will. You want to hug? You want to hug? You want to hug? Oh, my babies. Oh, I love hugs. Who's wiping their wet leg against you? I can feel it. Look at this. Alright, turn up the inches, are Huh? I think we're good. I think it's time just to... So, so after two days of long drawn out sailing by motor, it is finally the moment we can <laughs> sail by wind. I don't know how much gas we burned, but you know what, when, you when you're driving around, when you're sailing around, when you're motoring, when you're, when you're on a boat around this part of the world, um, the winds sometimes just have a current that you cannot fight because that's just the pattern it is. So around here, um, it's, it's a westerly. It's like a constant westerly. So if you want to go, west um you're fighting it the entire time so now we're, we've actually got a break in the wind and we're allowed to sail and it feels nice it's nice not to, not to have the vibration of a, of a motor going on 24 hours a day and jessica is having a snack you doing okay i just woke up from my nap and the sails are up isn't it nice i'm like a baby i wake up from my nap i need a snack it's wonderful what else can i do for you I don't know. For the record, I have food in my mouth. I have, we left this morning and we had about one and a half meter swells. And when we left Marseille, I don't know, it seems like back in 2010, but it wasn't. It must have been just a couple months ago. We had about two meter swells. And the one and a half meter didn't freak me out too much, but I spent the entire day until this itty bitty sail at the helm because I was so paranoid that I was going to get seasick. I'm a happy girl. My secret weapon. The, the relief band. And I have it set on only on two today. Yesterday it was on four. I think I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a couple of these. I'm gonna get them in different colors. I'm gonna sleep in them. I'm gonna wear them on land from now on. I think it works. I don't know. I've got my sea legs. I could just have gotten my sea legs. <laughs> now I do have a bigger story. I've had vertigo issues. Okay, this is going to turn into the Jessica. What was that sound? That's the VHF. Oh, the VHF. It works. <laughs> it works. So this is not going to be Jessica's, I'm going to sound like an old lady, Jessica's medical YouTube vlog. But here's the deal. I've had vertigo really bad for the last couple of years. So I actually, when we were in Spain, I went and got my inner ear checked. And this one responded really well, but there's something wrong with this one. So now I got to take the test back to the specialist. So stand by. I might actually have a reason that I have all this seasickness, believe it or not. It's not in my head. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Because I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I got to tell you that home. Are you nervous about this docking situation? Yeah. We're back in. We've only done that a couple of times. Well, I guess we've done it probably we, four we, or five times I, now, right? I've done that 
since you've been gone. All right. So we made it 20 hours of motor sailing and like 15 minutes of sailing. Yes. <laughs> it was like an hour of sailing. An hour we sailing. saved a little bit of gas. But we did it. We'll do a fist in here for Lago since he's inside. Here's Will. And it just started raining. No? Oh, I guess not. So home sweet home. So we have, I guess we could say we've come full circle. Yeah, that's we're it. We're back done. Where we started. We're, we're going to sell the boat. That's it now. Yeah, we did it. Two we, days of sailing. We circumnavigated. That's all. Um, um, a little bit of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe, we comment. Kidding, by the way, that's not true. We're going to keep going. Yeah, we are going to keep going. <laughs> Have a great day. Good morning from. I've got an inch of my nose now. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Avalon is now attempting the expert maneuver of removing the shiny metal thing off of the, the bridle, um, off the anchor. It's, it's her first time doing it on her own. Are you ready to get to the Caribbean? Yes. <laughs> Can she do it? Find your next episode <laughs> in The Adventures of World Towning. Did you pee your pants? Was it that scary? <laughs> you, you just oh, turned into that one, that. didn't you? Are you gonna go behind these two that are hooked up to each other over here? Here we are. We've got our our, our 12 volt light socket right there. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's a death right now. Hello. Yes. Why, of course we can drive the boat into some rocks. 